We're in central Denmark. The historical city of Uunza plays host for another stop on the BWF World Tour. And though Hans Christian Andersen was the storyteller here, this week the world's badminton elite are searching for their own fairy tale at the 2023 Denmark Open. A warm welcome inside this fabulous venue. It's Thursday, and that means the last 16 in each event are narrowing the field. We get ready to showcase the live action on court two. We begin today's action with mixed doubles, where this year's European Games champions, Tedling and Peak, will need to try once again to outsmart this year's Thailand Open champions, Kim and Jung. The matchup for Busanan Ongban Rungfan could not be much worse on paper. She's been defeated on the last 13 attempts by Chinese Taipei's Tai Su Ying, and the Thai player has been searching for the quarterfinals of the Denmark Open since 2014. He Ji Ting and Ren Xiang Yu are a new Chinese pairing, both qualify for this event but with different partners formally. Let's see if this new combination can cope with the attacking qualities of the informed Danes Kea and Sogard, who made the semi-finals of last week's Finland Open. The second of our mixed doubles features the former world number one pair Puav Aranukro and Tara Tanachai, twice finalists here in Denmark. But they were confidently beaten last week by Chen and To in the quarterfinals of the Arctic Open. The Thais will have to regroup today to beat the up-and-coming Malaysians. And we've got four more matches to stay tuned for. There's a 13th meeting between He Bing Zhao and Pong Pao Cho Chong in the women's singles. Three times world champions Zheng Siwei and Huang Yachong are twice winners here at the Denmark home. They're in action against Ferdinand Chaya and Wujaya. Chao Tian Chen is back in form. He'll have Kenta Nishimoto to deal with in the men's singles. That one usually has an explosive finish. And last up in our live coverage, it's the women's doubles where Jong and Kim will take on the two times world champions, Matsumoto and Nagahara. Well, we can take a look at the mixed doubles draw. This is the third quarter of that draw where third seeds Feng Yangzhe and Huang Dongping are in form and fresh from that win last week in Finland. Strong favourites for a spot in the quarterfinals against the winners of our featured match, which is right at the top there, where you can see the Koreans' number six seeds against Table and Peak. See there, towards the bottom, Watanabe and Higashino, the number two seeds, favourites as well, to push through towards the weekend. The uh, Women's uh, Congress Centre. From France, Tonki Kill and Delphine Delouy. And we're just waiting for a few moments as Court 1's players are being out announced into the arena right now. The opponents from Chinese Taipei, Yang Kuzhuan, Hu Ling Fang. So another year at the uh, Denmark Open, one of the oldest tournaments in the world. Super 750 this year with 750,000 US dollars prize money up for grabs. Okay, the tournament starts all the way back in Denmark. 1936. In the venue this year, the Unser Congress Center. 4,000 spectators can be crammed into here, and I'm sure will create a terrific atmosphere as we push towards the weekend. Semi-finals on Saturday, finals on Sunday. Here come Sabling and Peak from the Netherlands. European Games champions this year twice bronze medalists at the European Games previously, and their opponents today. Winners of the Thailand Open earlier in the year, Kim Won Ho and Jung Na Yun, the uh, six seeds here.
a couple of finals on the World Tour as well as that Thailand Open win. They won the uh, they were in the German Open final earlier this year. Uh, and previously the Australian doubles. Open. Chinese Taipei, Li Wei, Wu The opponents from China, Ben Yangqi. Well, that's the head to head. Straight games win for the Koreans at the All England earlier this year. Black or red? Black. It's red. On the toss. Receive. Receive. Give to receive. Sure. Receive it, sir. Put it to the side. Yeah. Well, watching yesterday's action, it doesn't seem to be a huge amount of drift in this arena. You can understand the players electing serve and receive instead of the choice of ends today. Quite difficult to work out where that drift might be. There might be a slightly faster and slower end, but certainly not a lot from left to right. As we take a look at uh, Robin Tabling, now 29 years of age, from Amstelveen in the Netherlands. They're ranked 15 currently. Spent one week at number eight, not that long ago. That was uh, in the summer, in July, and no doubt that win at the European Games. Robin Tabling and his partner here, Selena Peake, would have done well for their ranking points to help elevate them inside the top ten. Selena's 32 now from Blarikum in the Netherlands. It's about five foot five in height. They've got one title on the World Tour, that was the 2019 Dutch Open, their home event. They were runner-up at the French Open last year. But that result is very impressive against Tan Kim Mang, like Beijing yesterday from Malaysia, 36 minutes. And I want to talk a little bit later, I was chatting with uh, Joachim Fischer Nielsen this morning, former Danish mixed doubles player, who is now helping out that Dutch pair. But uh, I'll tell you a bit more about that in a moment. This is Kim Won-ho, still just 24 years old. From Suwon, which is in uh, Gyeonggi-do in South Korea. They were up at number five in the rankings a short while back, currently sitting at number seven with his partner, Jung na Yun. He's a year his junior at 23, and she hails from the capital of Seoul in South Korea. Kushiyanto and Kasuma Wati were their opponents yesterday. It uh, took them a little bit longer, 64 minutes, well into a third deciding game to come through that match. It's, uh, Morton Rortoff from Denmark, our chair umpire for this one, and uh, Michael Sturr will be our service judge. So yes, change of coach for Tabling and Peak. Joachim Fischer Nilsson, the Dane, has been working with them for just 10 days. He was helping them out at the Finland Open last week. He has TV obligations here this week in Denmark and again next week at the French Open. So you won't see him behind the court, but for, uh, thereafter, from the high-low open onwards, we should see uh, Joachim sat behind their, uh, their court. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim Won Ho and Jong Na Yoon, Korea. And on my left, Robin Tabling and Selina Peek, Netherlands. Selina Peek to serve, Kim Won Ho, Lobo. Good play. Even 
one all. It looked as if the Koreans were struggling to get a decent length. Early stages of that second rally. Defence from John. Well, that was going wide from Tabling. Kim Won Ho decides to take no chances and misses the court himself. Impressive defence. Robin Tabling was really pushing forward there. Just feel the Koreans have got another gear to go into yet. Not quite firing on all cylinders. Clever from Selena Peak. Combination works really well here. Tabling pushing Jiang back in court. And Peak exploits that uh, space in the forecourt. Misses here. It seems the Dutch pairing, given the freedom to dictate most of these points, Peak unable to convert on that occasion. And once again, Koreans on the defensive. This is a tidy angle from Robin Tabling. How steep this comes down, causing uh, Kim Won Ho plenty of problems. Well, this is unusual. And again, a pair from Korea. Really in a tangle. Communication broke down. Their rotation was out of out of pattern.
to defense. Oh, yes. Well played, John. She coped with that pressure really well. Six, seven. The longest rally we've seen so far. Coming over the top of Selena Peak there, that did the damage, didn't it? Well, he's looking dominant in attack. It's all out attack, really, from Robin Tabling. Only lifting out when they have to, the Dutch. Clever again from Selena Peak. Excellent rally. Both Koreans going for the same shot once again. Oh, you can't fault their efforts. They just seem a bit disorganised today. Broken a string here. It sounded like it. Yeah, there he goes. Dashing off to get a new racket. Somehow they recover and win the point. It's always a fascinating spectacle when one player's desperate to run off court. And John keeps the uh, rally alive. Superb. much pressure in the end and despite elements of miscommunication from the Koreans so far in game one they're staying pretty close on the scoreboard as we're into the mid-game interval in the first two points the lead Robin Tabling and Selena Peak.
11, 9, go. Play. Well, back to the action. Selena Peek on serve. The Dutch getting the advantage when they can so far in this match, but there's plenty of work to do for Kim and Jong. They just seem a little out of sorts. I've got no doubt. And that discussion with the coach at the mid-game interval will help just realign their uh, tactics here. Good angle by Kim Won-ho, using the middle, but also the steepness of that smash. Too much for the Dutch pair to cope with. Yeah, the lift was short. Here we go again. Robin Tabling. Wasting no time in attack. And it's a pretty orthodox basic tactic. Smash to middle for some kind of weak reply. What a lovely shot. And the end result wide, but there was a cross net in there to get the attack back. Pretty athletic from Robin Tabling. <laughs> Using every inch of his height. Nice shot from Kim Won-ho. Plenty to talk about. Oh, that simply was not good enough from Tabling. 16, too short, too flat. And straight onto the forehand of Kim. 16-14. That's a terrific backhand defence. 17-14. Thank you. 
Superb. Both of those attacking shots to finish. So well placed. This one onto the right hip. And then going across the body of Table Link. Gone long. Well, that for me was the last chance for that Dutch pairing. A five point lead now for the higher seeds. Should prove enough. Massive advantage. Still game points here. Hey! Well, there's been a few times they've misfired. He's gone wide again. There's hope left for Robin Tabling, Selena Peak. Two more game points to salvage. Yeah, well read. Kim Won Ho sets up his own kill shot. A valiant comeback towards the end. From these two. Hey, Luto. Well, the opening game zeggen, goes to Kim Won Ho and Jung Na Yun. Anticipated that nicely, didn't he? Game score 21 18. Chu 앞에 치고 들어가면 나한테가 오빠가 치고 들어가면 무조건 뒤에 카바만 세 뒤에 카바하는 거 생각해 줘. 그걸 완전히 자신 있게 들어가야 돼. 알겠지? 
Well, let's see if this change of ends can help Tableling and Peak. Terrific start to the opener for them. But largely, the Korean pair just not quite in top gear. That's a fantastic attack from Tableling. Just long. Frustration for Tadling. Had time on the shuttle. Well, it's a sign of intent. The initiative is there. of serve Nine, six. taking the shuttle early and playing shots with pace can't control the shuttle often enough though handing points to the Koreans That is special from Jong Na Young. Five, three. The finish was that man, but all the hard work here was from Jong. Defended so well, bravely, and chose her time to push forwards, setting up the attack. Oh, he's broken a string. Went for the smash to middle. Bad timing. That's four times in this game alone that I can count. Tabling's had the uh, court at his mercy. And it's either in the net or out wide. Just can't afford that at this level. But it's all positive. Needs to keep going, there we go. It will click. Yeah, nice shot. Good defence from Selena Peak. Five, 
Kim Won Ho really took that uh, left leg jump out early as well. Makes it even more special. Off the hip from Selena Peak finds that space. It's really well read from Kim Won Ho. Making it look easy now, that man. Nine, five. Very crafty. Cross block and then going over the top. Another string and another point goes the way of Kim and Jong. And on a big four from the clear, of a drop and doorlopen. And I think that we more for things have to go. And that we now, as we have control, we will play. Then we will not win. Comfortable in this uh, second game so far for these two, and a six-point lead. It's going to take something a little special. The Dutch are going to have to continue this kind of attacking pressure. They need to stay on the attack here. The uh, attacking quality of the Korean pair, both of them, for me, is just too much. Somehow, Sabling and Peak need to take the initiative or regain the initiative in a rally like that. Can't give these two that much time. Excellent rally, that is brilliant from Selena Peak. Kim Won Ho was dictating throughout. Better from the Dutch. Wonderful looking shot. shadowing after the uh, point was won. Where his racket should have been to intercept. Yeah. That's more like it, aggressive. Oh, yeah. 
Tabling in particular needs to do that more often. Step in and take on that attack. Step up in defence. So deep. Jong Na Yun had that rally won four or five times. Look at this. Just kept putting it on the racket of Selena Peak once, twice, three times. Going wide. Well, you can see the idea. I don't think uh, the punch clear would have troubled Jung Na Yun all that much anyway. Short serve, well left. 11.30. Well, this time he's broken the string and won the point. Given the racket stringers some work to do today, I think that's four from tabling alone. Four, four double three, mixed doubles from Korea, sales and games, Kai Well, 14, you can't knock her quality, Selena Peak. There's a reason why she's won the Dutch National Championships every year since 2012, to my understanding. And that's with three different partners. Gone long. Kim Won Ho trying. 16. Trying his very best from the forecourt.
They look so dominant, this Korean pair in the first half of the second game. Having to up the pace now, Kim and John. And that's a dangerous sign for these two. The last two rallies, we've seen one of them really charge the net. Clever push into the uh, left shoulder. Just wide. 16, 17. Surprised there was no call for Hawkeye on that uh, previous point from Kim Won Ho. Pretty close to the line. I don't think we've seen a challenge yet today. Terrific rally. This could really set the tone for the rest of the match. Big smash winner. The lift too short. No chance, Selena Peak. That was a good block for John. Two points required. A place in the quarterfinals at stake. For a minute 17. out of position, Zhang Naoyun somehow got round the head to control that shuttle back to middle. Three match points. Yeah. Kim unfazed. The shot from table in well in court. Kim Won Ho made no movement whatsoever to retrieve it. Very odd. 18-20. Oh, that was clever from Kim. Smallest of holds over the top, and that's the match. A good performance. They weren't at their very best throughout the entire match. But they certainly did enough today. And these final shots, tabling, pushing forwards. Good deception. So straight games in just 40 minutes. Kim Won Ho and Jung Na Yun advancing to the quarterfinals tomorrow. Too much today for Robin Tabling. Selena Peak of the Netherlands. 21-18, 21-18, the game score. And a place in the quarters. Well, don't go anywhere. We've got women's singles coming up in a few moments. On Ban Run Fan and Tai Su Ying in action once again. That's coming up after a few highlights.
Well, thank you for sticking with us. Welcome back to the round of 16 here at the Denmark Open 2023. Terrific performance.